One of the more powerful features in OPAS is the ability to change attributes of repertoire only as those attributes pertain to a certain set of performances. And in this first video, we will look at title and movement changes, duration changes, and some other basic settings. Future videos will look at instrumentation and other characteristics. The repertoire we're going to use for our examples is a repertoire on these school concerts. And as I float my mouse over the concert, you can see the music we're playing. And almost all of those pieces, we're going to play an excerpt of the piece. We're not going to play the complete piece of music. And so we need a way to tell the software that even though this is the work we're playing, we're not playing the whole thing. And not playing the whole thing will change its duration, its instrumentation, and so on. Now, I could easily open any of those concerts here in the calendar and make the changes but I'm going to do so in the dates area and I'll show you why. So I'll open the dates area from my favorites menu, ask the software to show me everything in the month of October in the 1617 season, press the enter key on my keyboard, and the list pane at the bottom of the screen shows the activities. And I want to make the changes this way so that as I change things in concerts here, you can instantly see the results in the details pane above and particularly in this program grid. Now the first change we're going to make is to the first piece of music on the concert. When the Britain was assigned to this concert, you assigned it from the works area, the Digital Daniels, and when you assign it, you get the piece of music as Benjamin Britten wrote it, which is why it's a 17-minute piece of music. The same thing happens for every other piece of music on this program. You program the work as it's written. But in this case, we're not going to perform the work as it's written. So to indicate those changes, I double-click the piece of music in the program grid, and OPAS opens the date program area. This is a very detailed area of the software, and it indicates how a piece of music is or was played on a certain performance. So on this performance, Thursday, October 13th, this is how the Benjamin Britten is going to be performed. I'll scroll down here and the very first thing we're going to do is on our performance on the school concert we're only going to play variation B through variation F. All the other variations we're not going to perform so I need to remove them. All I do is select the first movement, red X to delete it, confirm the deletion, and click Save. When I click Save, OPAS is going to ask if the change I made, the deletion of the first movement, is something that should pertain to the young person's guide to the orchestra as it's being performed in the school concert series in 1617. And the answer is yes to all. Every time this piece of music is being performed only in this season and only in that project, remove the first movement. If I don't click yes to all here, then I have to open every single service and delete the first movement. So that movement's gone. I'll repeat the process very quickly here for variation A. Delete the record. Yes. Save that deletion. Save the changes elsewhere. Yes to all. Now, as I'm deleting those, you can see that OPAS is automatically recalculating the duration of the piece of music. And I'll go ahead and remove variation G through the end of the program. So all the other movements that I'm not performing have been taken out of the movement grid, and notice how OPAS has recalculated the duration of this piece of music. The other change I'm going to make now is to the print title. When I print programs and in online applications, I want to indicate the cuts that we're making. So I'm just going to come up here to the print title, and I'm going to put in variations B through F. I'll delete the Opus 34. I'll also put in an alternate title, Young Person's Guide B through F. And again, I'll click the green OK to save my changes and exit. And you'll notice OPAS asks if those changes are to be made elsewhere to this piece of music in the school project in the season 1617, yes to all. And you can see back in the program grid, my print title is different, my durations have changed, and I now have an alternate title.
I'm going to reopen this, double click to open it again, to very quickly show you some of the other basic changes. In addition to the change of movements, duration, and title, some other things you can do are indicate that this performance of this piece is an encore. You can indicate it is a premiere. You'll have your own list of premieres. You can indicate it's TBD or any other status you wish to create. And again, these changes only pertain to this performance of this piece of music. The next time you program the work, you get it as it exists in the master works area or the digital Daniels.